The El Paso Museum of Art is now open and has a new exhibit featuring abstract art. Interim Director Dr. Vladimir von Surikov joins us to share some exciting news about this new exhibit. Thank you so much, Dr. Vladimir, for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. So tell us about this new exhibit. It's Circle and Square. It's, it's pronounced in French, but I'll let you say it. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Well, it's, it's a very exciting, actually, project for us. It's one of four new exhibitions that we're opening the public now that we have reopened, and it's called Cirque Carré and the International Spirit of Abstract Art. It is based on uh, an exhibition that was held in 1930 by a group of abstract artists that formed a group uh, of abstractionists in Paris in the 19, uh, late 1920s and included uh, a number of artists from the Americas, Europe, and Russia as well people including uh, artists such as Vasily Kandinsky, uh, Sonia Delaunay, uh, Le Courboisier, and uh, Pierre Durand, among, among others. And it's a very exciting undertaking for us to be able to bring that to El Paso, uh, where usually you don't necessarily see that kind of art displayed. Now, I was reading a little bit on it, and they're geometric type shapes when it comes to this abstract art. Um, yes, of course. The geometric shapes are very um, important, and these artists were looking really for a certain purity of uh, forms that uh, allowed them to uh, to explore new ways to to create and and to, of course, uh, reach out to th their audiences this way. And uh, as I said, this was one of the first groups of abstractionists actually that that had formed uh, and they also included some uh, publications that they were offering in 1930s in fact shortly after the exhibition of 1930 the group actually disbanded and this uh, entire exhibition which has come to us from the Georgia Museum of Art in Athens at the University of Georgia uh, this was a very interesting project trying to recreate some of that art that hasn't really been shown together since now, Dr. Vladimir, when people want to go and see this exhibit and, of course, other art at the museum, what should they expect? Now, this is going to be open until August, right? And people do still need to wear their masks when they go? Oh, absolutely. We want everybody to be safe. Right now, in our first phase of reopening, we are open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 to 6. Uh, you can always expect that uh, we will make sure that you can wear a mask. If you don't have one, we're happy to provide you with one. There are plenty of stations with hand sanitizer available to you, and we're only open to about 50% to 50% of our capacity. In addition to that, when you visit the museum, not only uh, should you expect to be wowed by everything that you see on display, but you're also able to sign up actually while you're there uh, for an appointment uh, for, to register for your vaccine if you would like to do so. Um, so in, in addition to this abstract art exhibition, we also have three other new ones, and of course all of our permanent galleries are also accessible for visitors. Very exciting, and of course, uh, this information, we are going to have it on KTSM.com, including how you can uh, visit the museum virtually still as well. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for inviting me.